Good morning. So as I showed you last night, this bed platform, like I said, I will make this one a couple inches longer. So I'll do that. And then, like I said, I need to figure out how I'm going to put those all on the wall. So the task now is to figure out how I'm going to mount these boards, the bed platform boards, and the bed rails themselves. l track double stud fittings. As right now, I only have two. The other ones are on order and should be here next week, hopefully. So, with that in mind, obviously these double stud fittings are 3 8 24. You remember, the knobs that I have are 3 8 16 because I couldn't find any 3 8 24 knobs in stock. So a 3816. So you're like, okay, 3824, 3816 are different. Yes and no. That's where this comes in handy. This is a 3816 on this end and a 3824 on this end. So that helps me out because obviously the 3824 will let, allow me to screw this in. And then the 3816 allows me to screw that so therefore my bed platform my rails all of that will attach here and if i need to i can cut this off because there's so much 3 24 thread that i can cut some off and uh, make it shorter but so like i said i only have two of them so i'll only be able to drill the top two holes to hold it up and then eventually when the other ones come in i'll add them oh yeah and these are these are like engine studs, motor studs, but for something, but these are them. I'll link them down below. So if you're wondering why there's two holes, I messed up the first time. I forgot to give space from the ceiling. Obviously I have my ceiling and then I have my trim piece and I forgot to come down from that. But that's not to worry because this now will just be where I insert the jigsaw, which is fine by me to make my slats so it doesn't really matter but now that I've got to figure out I know exactly how to do it so I went down four and a quarter drill my holes so obviously they're all the same at the top obviously the 20 inches will uh, hang down a little more which is totally fine because you can still access this window which is really really nice that you can still access that window Okay, so what I've been running into is for for the last three, in order to secure them, what am I gonna do? Because if you see the top two, those other two, they're into each other, they're through there, and that's how those will mount. Obviously, like I said, I'm gonna have you know another row, another two set, another set of uh, studs to go through. So how does that work? Well, I could have easily welded, you know, one time welded things up. But I decided, you know what? Not everybody who watches this stuff or does band stuff has, has a welder or things like that. And I had this lying around. These are like braces that you can buy at Home Depot. They're just right off the shelf, down the end of the aisle for like um, securing, you know, lumber together, things like that. This is what I've come up with. So I've bent them on the brake. Obviously you can just bend it on the edge of a table, do whatever you need to. So if you see it's like this, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to cut it off right here. So that's this big S shape. And what the S shape is going to allow me to do is store two of them inside here. I'll put a hole through here where the stud goes through. One will secure right in here, and then I'll latch it up, screw it up top through here. So then these will be nice and tight. That's what I've come up with. So obviously, I just need to cut this, and then I need to copy it. Well, that'll work. Obviously, like I said, I need to shorten this, so. Wreck it up. And, like, you see it falling. It's only because, you know, it obviously wants to. But before I would install these, I would have my uh, little fastener on. That's not going to fall down on me. And obviously, it's not going to go all the way. But if it was all the way, it would be pretty tight. Therefore, 
Now, all five of them would be attached. I've seen two more down here. So I like it. I like it a lot. Main thing is, I need to shorten these studs. So, I'll take it all down. Now that we know this all works, I'll start cutting out my holes and then we'll go to town routing. So, the rest of the afternoon will be nothing but cutting and routing. That's a wrap for today, guys. Get some more accomplished tomorrow. Finish up the bed, two bed, leftover bed platform uh, panels. Get those routed out, get them cut out, sanded, ready. And then I'll take all the walls off and along with the bed platform, and I'll put a nice like, a sealer on them, backside of the walls. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs>